ወም ካላላያም ላ ያሃዋ በሃሻም ያሃውሻይ በሃሻም ወኻ ቆራሽ ወንደበለ ነስትዲ አፖስልስ አን ኤልዘርስ ኦፍ ግሬት ሜልስቶን ናት ሩል ዌል ቢሰም ለሰን ሲሪ ኢለክ ራይት ኤይ This is Ama one from the Great Millstone Camp in Trinidad coming back to do another lesson to the Holy Spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai <coughs> All right and um the name of this lesson is full bellies is a hell of a thing <laughs> Full bellies is a hell of a thing all right and why I say that is because as I was have you on the spread lately um um in this country we have a vast vaccination vaccine nation drive and um because of vaccine pe- people people run in it people all uh, 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 all people like it, you see pictures and videos of I never see it yet but I heard it from different reliable sources that all women literally I sit in dong in the in the rain waiting for the vaccine dong here in Trinidad so and the reason why all right these people the reason why these people so um so desirous of vaccine is because full full bellies all right full bellies is a hell of a thing your belly being full <laughs> you know why but I have before I read that precept let me, let me read this precept here in the book of Lamentations chapter 4 and verse 8 right it says verse 9 sorry it says they that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger for these pine away stricken for the want of the fruits of the field all right that is the ones who check you smitten with hunger when you're hungry it's it better to die with somebody come and kill you and chuck you on with a sword or shoot you in your, in your hell and your and your life end quickly than Let me look at the meaning of the word pine. Pine away come from the Hebrew word Zawab. Zawab. And it means to flow, to gush, issue, discharge. To flow, to gush, to die. Pine away. To flow, issue from woman. Have an issue, flux. flowing participle to waste your waste in a way because if some flowing like water constantly flowing 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 and you had to turn off the pipe it's like a waste in it right as to overflow to gush flow gush or run and pine away run um anything also by an idiom of the language the man suffering from gonorrhea <coughs> um, bum 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 flowing milk and honey to flow away to pine away to die All right um that is a primitive root yeah 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 you're wasting away to discharge to flow to gush pine away all right so when you hungry and you want something to eat and and you want on to eat and you eat and 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 you and you and you in eat salad and you in eat for days and you hungry and you two days pass and you day Three days pass and a day. Four days pass, no water, no food. And a day. Every second that pass by. And no food and come. You, by you. I, I never experienced it, but you will be. Whew. You'll be in a bad state. Now, 
it will be in a bad state now when your belly constantly full when your belly constantly full all right and things at your leisure you and not shit to study <laughs> now, uh, let me tell you something that is what is going on over here on the western hemisphere there are certain countries in the west who understand starvation like haiti is one of them right like if you do a ratio if you is to break down how much people in haiti have you say it have 400 people in haiti just doing a estimate right which is more we know that but let me say it have 400 people in haiti right 250 of them under poverty extreme poverty so if it's 800 people in 80 500 of them under extreme poverty if it's 1600 people in 80 a thousand of them under extreme poverty only 600 of them go be high and some of them that would 600 might still live bad catching the tail but then there are countries in the west like here for example Trinidad and Tobago if you have 400 people in this country 40 of them might be on the extreme poverty yeah so that means if you have 800 people in this country 80 of them might be on the extreme poverty there are 1600 people in this country 160 of them will be on the extreme poverty so what what going on going with the next 1440 people they're living good the belly is full and that you think when your belly is full you tend to forget you tend to forget righteousness you tend to forget um serving the lord you tend to you tend to forget everything and uh, or you tend to forget anything to do with righteousness because why you're eating and you're drinking at your leisure so now a situation arises where certain desires of yours like being able to step out of your house without a mask or being able to go in Kentucky Fried Chicken KFC and buy food for 20 piece or being able to go in a club certain desires of yours was cut off now you had to cook home now you had to eat home cook food right through now you can't do the things that you, that you delight in, that you like, to please your flesh, right? You can't do it because a situation arises where these things become prohibited. So you like fish out of water. Now another situation arises telling you that if you if um you take such and such all these desires that you have or that you things are delighting that got that got cut off because of this situation that arise case on point a pandemic so called a pandemic if you take such and such all these desires are delighting will come back to you what do you think people who belly is full in the majority would do they will take that um, such and such maxine to get back their livelihoods so this is where matthew 24 and 37 come in it says but as the days of no will so shall also the coming of the son of man be for as in the days of that will be for the flood right the days that was sorry so that 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 right there is where you call 
a unclean spirit trying to fuck up the thing. Like Matthew, um, for as in the for as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and knew not. Until the flood came and took them all away, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. So, w- w- what the Lord said concerning the first death, because this is describing the first death, Noah was saved from the first death, as it says in uh, Revelation 20. The first death, and it talk it, it talks about the second death. All right, no, it uh, it talks about the second death. The second death is the fire, and the first death is the water. Second Peter chapter three speaks about the first death. All right, what were people doing during that time when Noah, a prophet of righteousness, as the Apostle Paul described them in Hebrews the 11th chapter right a preacher of righteousness and the oh, uh, the author not the author you know what let me, guide, let, me guide. Let, me, let me see what our forefather Noah was this is the book of Hebrews chapter 11 and um Seven. It says, "By faith Noah, being warned of the most high of things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by the which he condemned the world and became the heir of righteousness." Um, which is by faith. A preacher of it, it says he's a he was a preacher of righteousness. Um that's not I'm gonna get a preacher of righteousness because I know I know I ain't mad. I know I ain't mad. I'm sure I ain't mad. Guaranteed I ain't mad, I know that. I know that. Ah yeah, so like, wasn't in wasn't in Hebrews, was in Second Peter two and five. It says, and spared not the old world, but saved Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness. Yes, Peter said he was a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. So, Noah was a preacher of righteousness. So while Noah was preaching righteousness. This is what people was doing. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, full in the bellies. Yeah. <laughs> eating and drinking, going into belly, your belly getting full. Filled bellies is a hell of a thing. Because filled bellies, the people do anything for the belly. <laughs> to make sure they eat and drink and they're comfortable. Um... The NLT says in those days before the flood, the people were enjoying banquets and parties and weddings right up to the time Noah entered into the boat. Well, everything else say the same thing as the KJV say, except for that one I just read. <coughs> But eating, let me go into that word eating. That going into your belly being full. They were eating. Come from the Greek word. Strong. Shogo. Shogo. And it means to gnaw, to crunch the true raw vegetables or fruits as nuts and almonds of animals feeding of men to eat. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That 
crunching song that eaten the belly in full. Eating and drinking, drinking come from the Greek word pino or pino, 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 which is to drink figuratively to receive into the soul what serve to refresh, strengthen, nourish it unto life. Right? To drink, there was eating, there was drinking, there was full in the guts, there was full in the guts, and the full of guts. Up till the time when Noah was preaching, till Noah and time to the boat, they're still full in the guts because they concern only about one thing the nutrition. So, preaching didn't profit them. The wife had to eat, the children had to eat. So, whatever come in the way that prohibiting them from not being able to enjoy the things that they would. A solution presents itself in front of the face to go back to that so-called normalcy. They will do it in a blink of an eye because of the love for this place. But let me see what the Lord says about the sin of Sodom. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 16. And verse... So, Ah, look at that, so that's so that. Right, Ezekiel 16 and 49. says, Behold, this was the iniquity of thy sister Sodom. Now the Heavenly Father describing the two, the two kingdoms, the northern and the southern kingdom, as two whores. So he called one Sodom and he called one, I can't remember the word, the next one name, but he calling them as two abominable nations so he's talking to Israel but as speaking this is what the Lord describing as the worst Sodom did alright because this was going on in the in the ancient land of Sodom and Gomorrah as well this was the do you this was the iniquity of thy sister Sodom pride pride isn't it in Sirach chapter Oh, second, I just eight and fifty. Behold, many great miseries shall be done unto them that shall dwell in the latter time, that shall dwell in the world in the latter time because they have walked in great pride. These six things that the Lord hate a proud look, a lying tongue, it says fullness of bread. That was our iniquity with them. There was full with eating and drinking that's a hell of a thing that is why fasting is good because when you're presented with a microchip and the cut off your food you're supposed to be able and be strong enough hey i was fasting i could breathe through this no we don't fast to say for that you know you fast for spiritual reasons but fasting is good in that behalf because you never know when the heavenly father could cut off food from the land the lord is a powerful man he could do all that he could cut off food from the land in the morning nobody in it the, the, listen the heavenly father could have could have made us self-sustainable where we don't even have to eat ever we don't ever have to eat, we just self-sustain ourselves. But he give you a mouth. You know why? He give you that mouth, he give you that mouth. So that anytime we start to get 
boastful and proud, he cut off food and he humbled me. Because let me tell you something, food, we eaten food since since inception. Since we come down on this earth and we since we spread the land on the earth, we feed in this flesh. And we mother belly. When we mother drink milk, eat anything, the nutrition from what she eat comes to we. I believe through the umbilical cord, if I'm mistaken. So we take nutrition from she. Then when we when she push we out, we suck she she breasts, we get milk, we eat. Then when we get teeth, we start to eat food. Right? And all of these things constantly happening. So people get so accustomed with the the the, the eating habits. And then, as I described earlier on, in certain places, is more hard times. You feel if the present the MOB in Haiti. Now, I'm not saying they mightn't take it. But if they cut off the bread, let me say they cut off Haiti bread and tell them, hey, if you ain't take this, I will cut. If you ain't take this, Haiti done, Haiti done under pressure. They will say, okay. We go find our way to eat because we always eat it. We always find our way. <laughs> we always find our way, so we'll find our way. But not here. They won't find our way. Because the only way they know is the hand of the master. The hand of Edom. The hand of Massa. We were sent here for the, for the wicked to feed we, but not for we to always depend on the wicked for food. Okay. It says fullness of bread and abundance of idleness was in her and in her daughters, neither did she strengthen the hand of the poor and the needy, and they were haughty and committed abomination before me. Therefore I took them away as I saw good. And I will go and go on the heavenly father and take away plenty all here in this place. Because all your belly is full, all your turn all your back on the Lord. Like by the name of the lessons, full bellies is a hell of a thing. Now, this is the book of Revelation, chapter 12. And, um, Fourteen, it says, and the woman. And to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness. Into her place, the wilderness would have been when we left the land of Israel during 70 AD. And some, I believe, before, if I'm mistaken, all of the way to the way to 70 AD, fled into the in, inner coasts of Africa, the western parts, right? into her place and from there we went we came to this place where she is nourished for a time and times and half a time from the face of the serpent time is 100 years times is 200 years half a time is 50 years 350 years from the face of the serpent the serpent would feed us here now, seeing that we ain't food here from the serpent, I we to fucking love the serpent because he gave me food? No. So when the serpent bring, he, when the serpent bring he wicked policy, we supposed to accept it because he feeding me? Hello. Hello. We accept the heavenly father. Lai walamiam. Forever and ever we accept Yahweh by Hashem Shai, not the serpent. Okay? So, Ezo Edom got holy ass. Because a lot of people long here taking Maxine. Because Maxine is their way back to normalcy. Somewhat normalcy, where they could see, where they could do as they please, and please the flesh. Full the bellies as they want. Not that these people ain't eating, but the desires get cut off a little bit. 
So you know what going on, go on when, when the RFID microchip come, you know what going on with these people? They going on to rush it down like like it's some like it's the savior of mankind. That is what they're going on do. Because they cannot take pressure. They can't take the necks getting squeezed a little bit. They love this place. That is why the scriptures talk about um, in the book of Micah chapter 2 and verse 10. It says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. Straight up, you people telling all yourself that I rest here. The scriptures talk about a resting place for the Israelites. Alright, in the book of Hebrews, chapter 4 and verse 9, it says, There remained therefore a rest. To the people of the Most High. I know what going on here. Right. Um, go back in Hebrews again. Hebrews four and nine. Yeah, it have a rest for we. Once we do the works of the Heavenly Father, it have a rest for us. The Lord is not unrighteous to forget we works and labor of love. And you see what, what, he sa- he, he, what is actually taking place is these people in this place lack faith. They faithless. They don't have no faith in the Lord. They don't believe in the Lord. They believe in science. They believe in crazy science they don't believe in our basham shy so that is why they're constantly trusting in his sunny ways the scripture say in the book of jeremiah straight up jeremiah jeremiah chapter 10 and 1 it says hear the word which i was speaking unto you house of israel Verse 2 says, Thus saith our Basham Yahushai, Learn not the way of the heathen. Don't learn the way of the heathen. And that heathen is actual heathen. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. Do not learn the ways of the heathen. But Israel didn't listen. Israel want to be up in the heathen business. So the heathen do into them what they like, what they feel like. And because Israel loved the gods, the trimming the ways to seek love because they love to eat. Um the book of Philippians chapter three and verse eighteen and I'll close I'll close with this precept it says for many walk of whom I have told you often and now tell you even weeping that they are the enemies of the cross of Amashiach. Whose end is destruction because you're going to be destroyed. Whose power is their belly. The seat of emotions that give in to all the flesh. Ultimately the food. People love to eat in this place. It says whose glory is in their shame. Who mind earthly things. For our conversation is in heaven and are going into the hopefully neck it says from whence we also also we look for the savior the lord yahweh shai hamashiach who shall change our vile body who the our vile body which desiring all these physical pleasures the lord will change that that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body according to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself and with that, I'll give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Basham Yahushai, Basham Rakakodash. Hopefully, been edified. And until the next time, I say Shalom to the elect. Shalom.